Welcome to Entrepreneurship. I'm Dr. Suzanne Menarson and I'm looking forward to working with you over these next eight weeks. Entrepreneurship is something I'm very passionate about. I started my first business in 1983 and um, have started several since. I consider myself really a serial entrepreneur because what I like is the startup phase. Once it gets down to the management phase, I tend to uh, be ready to start something else. I like the excitement of the, the startup phase. Just a few things um, before we get started. First of all, um, I just want to uh, talk for a minute about your final project. And your final project is going to be a business plan. Make this something you're interested in. Don't make it something that you've read about and somebody else is interested in. This needs to be your passion. Um, this needs to be something you're excited about. Something that you can stick with throughout the eight weeks and use the coursework to build upon each week. Now, um, because your final project is a business plan, um, in, I believe, week three, week two or week three, I'm going to ask for an outline of your business plan. And what I want you to do at that time is don't just use the template in the book, the outline, just the major headings. I want you to customize those major headings so that it's clear the direction that you're going. You'll flesh them out later. But at this point, I'd like to see that you're on a good track. Um, I'm always here to answer questions. Nothing makes me happier than for every student in my class to earn an A. Um, I'm very passionate about this topic, and I'm going to add some, uh, you know, some interesting readings now and then uh, that will make the class a little bit more uh, exciting, maybe, hopefully. Um, those are optional discussions. I hope you'll take part in them. I hope you'll read the articles. Love to have your feedback. Um, in addition, I have a um, Facebook page just for my students, and um, that's another place where some students like to go and have casual um offline conversations about various topics and get help. During the sixth and seventh week, if you would like me to review your business plan, that's great. Send it to me. But I would encourage you to use my Gmail account. During the last three weeks of this course, I'm going to be in Europe and I'll have my email, I'll have my laptop. You won't notice any difference but it will come to me faster and it will be easier for me to access if I've got it on Gmail instead of coming in through the classroom. Um, one final note, and this is a topic that's very important to me and I take this very seriously, and that's plagiarism. Please, please, please minimize your use of direct quotes and avoid cutting and pasting. Anything that comes from anywhere else, you must cite your source. There are some great tools in the library that will help you. I've got a little quiz that uh, I have included in the course um, in the week one uh, materials that I hope you will look at and you'll take the quiz and um, just to clarify that, that you know exactly what is expected. Um, I have students often ask me what percentage is too much for direct quotes, cut and paste, and my answer is 5 to 10 percent. Okay, when I run your paper through, turn it in, it should be no more than 5 to 10 percent from outside sources. Does this mean that you can't cite other sources? No, it means that you must paraphrase and, of course, cite the original. Um, author of the original material. Okay, I think we're. I think that's about it. Um, I look forward to working with each of you. Some of you have already emailed me about various things, and um, please know I, I like that. I encourage that, um, and um, I look forward to working with you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.